Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your products onto WooCommerce for your WordPress website. At your website backend, click on Products and then Categories. You will see the categories that came with the template you have installed. Select all the existing category names by checking the box next to the word image and then use the bulk actions drop down to remove all the categories. Then add your own product category names on the left side. You can ignore the other fields. We won't need them for this demo. You can also assign some categories under child categories with a parent. For example, I have a parent category named table and under this category, I also have a child category called kids table. Once you're done creating your product categories, click on products on the left panel to bring you to your products listing page. Click on the checkbox on top panel to select all existing products and then use the bulk actions drop down to move them to trash. Click on the add new button to get to the add new product page. For this tutorial, I will show you how to add a simple product without variation. No drop down selection for your customers to choose from. Fill in the product name and product description. Under product data, the default selection is simple product. Fill in the price under the general tab. You can also fill in a sale price and schedule it. Under the inventory tab, fill in the SKU. It is not compulsory though. Check the manage stock level option if you need to keep track of inventory. If not, leave that alone and you can also change stock status manually if your stocks run out. The stock status options are in stock, out of stock and on back order. If you set the status to out of stock, the system will not allow customers to buy. However, if it's set to on back order, customers can still buy it. Under the shipping tab, you can key in your product weight and dimensions. These information are optional. Fill them in only if you need this information for your delivery arrangements. Ignore shipping class for now. Under the linked products tab, you can select products as upsells and cross-sells of this product. You are encouraged to fill this in after uploading all your products. Upsell products are usually those more expensive than the current product. For example, if someone wants to buy a fan, you can upsell a more expensive and later model fan on the same product page. Upsells usually show up on the product page. Cross-sell products are complementary products. If I buy one, I'm very likely to want to buy the other. For example, if I have bought a pair of sports shoes, there's a high chance I want to buy socks too. Cross-sell products usually appear at cut page as recommendations. At the left panel, upload your product main image under product image. Upload the rest of the images under product gallery. Remember to select the right categories for these products. You can click on the blue publish button to publish this product. If you go back to the products list page, you should be able to see your first product listing. The next tutorial, I will show you how to list a variable product. This is the type that comes with drop down selection of options.